I've ridiculed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. Well, we got the cover at Lee. We got the trailer for WWE 2K24. Now, let me first say, Cody Rose being the cover, I guess you could say cover superstar for 2K24, uh, for WWE 2K24, um, I think that's a smart choice because not only is he the hottest he's ever been in WWE, but in professional wrestling, let's be very honest. WWE is the biggest company in professional wrestling ever. So him coming back and him being the cover athlete is 100% the right move. The whole having the females being, I believe they said like the deluxe edition, that to me makes absolutely no sense because Miss EST hasn't been the top wrestler in what 2023 she wasn't the top uh rest female wrestler or even right now 2024 it's been Rhea Ripley so I think they should have just let Rhea Ripley be the top star but they showed us some some uh I guess some hints of what you can be expecting and one of the things that they said was expect new match types. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been playing wrestling games since I was a little, 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 little baby out there. You know, I used to play WCW versus NWO. No mercy. I used to play WrestleMania 2001. I played the original SmackDown versus Raw. I played every single wrestling game out there that I could. And most likely it was all of them, except for like the whole battleground and that bullshit that make no sense. The whole, uh, the WWE, I believe it was something like WWE smash or slash, uh, where you were like driving monster trucks and that bullshit. I never played those, but every wrestling game where you can create a wrestler, play a story, whatever, play a 24 seven career mode. I played every one of them and I would create myself and it was the longest character ever in any wrestling game ever. Nathan Hernandez. Remember that Nathan Hernandez. Now, when it comes to this, look, I've always bought these games and I always end up being disappointed. But ever since 2K took over, we've gotten some good graphics and we got some terrible graphics we got some good games and then we got some decent games and then we got some terrible games i don't know how this is gonna be um the gameplay might be the same as 2023 might be different i don't know i, I don't think they're gonna change it just in one year i think they're gonna try to leave it there and ride it out until people start complaining about the gameplay, which I don't think the gameplay was that good in 2023, but <clears throat> it was different, right? Now, when they put the flash out there saying that expect new match types, I don't know about you, but we used to have all these match types, but for some reason, these dumb companies... Decide to take them away, right? So what do people have to do? They People have to start bitching and moaning to try to get these back. Remember the whole Kareta story where you were the actual booker, where you would create your wrestling stories and then you can sit back and watch it like it was a Monday Night Raw or SmackDown? Ugh. What happened to that? Ever since 2K bought it, they took it away. <clears throat> Remember the whole Korea Championship? It was a while till we finally got it back. Remember the whole Korea entrance? It was a while before we got it back. So I see this whole notion of them putting expect new matches. 
well, what happened to those matches? Why did you at first take them away? So I'm not being sold with that. <clears throat> then they say, expect a better, I think, I don't know what they actually said, but <clears throat> they. I think they said, expect a better, longer career mode. Okay, now let's talk about this career mode. Because lately, these career modes have been terrible storylines, terrible graphics, and just overall terrible way of doing it. Um, when it comes to the showcase, I felt like the whole John Cena stuff was okay. But just the whole presentation didn't work for me. When it comes to what they could do in 2K24, I think they're probably going to do the about the same. Where it's going to be another nonsense story of them just trying to figure out what they can do. And not take storylines from maybe other companies from maybe past WWE storylines. And just tweaking it here and there a little bit just to make it feel like it's a new storyline. <coughs> I just feel like we're going to get the same nonsense. We're going to get buzz. We're going to get, uh, what was that dude? The lock. We're going to get stuff like that. And at the end of the day, that's not what I want. You know how you can make 2K, uh, the wrestling games feel a little bit more realistic since you're trying to go into that route still? Bring back Tough Enough. Have us where we're competing in Tough Enough. And then... You have to put these nice matches. You got to put, you got to do a three star match. You got to do a four star match. You got to do a five star match. You got to cut a good promo. You got to, uh, you got to, you got to do a nice presentation of your entrance. You got to do this, your gimmick, stuff like that. You wrestling these, you're wrestling Cody Rose. You got to see if you can keep up with Cody Rose. You got to do stuff like that, right? That's what I think more fans want, not a stupid on the lock kind of a storyline or a buzz storyline. No, we want like something that feels more authentic. Then once we get into WWE, once we get into NXT, SmackDown, Raw, once we get into those, then you can start having us in these crazy storylines. Then you can have us facing Cody Rose and us mimicking Dusty Rose, or you can have us going up against the tribal chief and calling us the settlers or something like that, right? At the end of the day, I'm not going to be buying WWE 2K24 uh, because I'm tired of buying these games and always, always ending up just being disappointed because I expect more. <clears throat> At the end of the day, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for WWE 2K24? Or are you guys more on the level of, I'll wait and see. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Share the video. And I'll catch you guys next time. I just leveled up, I thank God. Straight from the mud, now it's time to get the